We're back, people, and today we're breaking out film on Robert Hunt, Miami Dolphins, offensive lineman, right guard. I mean, his first action in the preseason game, and he was just bullying defenders, linebackers, defensive line, doing it all, pretty much what he always does. Uh, but he looked even extra good in this game. Only played 18 snaps. I mean, he's clearly a starter. Don't have to worry about it too much. Just getting him, you know, back into the flow of things. And here he just instantly climbs the second level, takes a great angle. 48 tries to avoid his block. Hunt gets low and you can just see the absolute force in his hands, the shock, and just look how much he moves 48 out of the play. He makes contact with him right here and ends up moving him almost all the way to this hash to help create this lane for Moser to hit, pick up an extra few yards. He's just an absolute monster, one of the most improved players I feel like over the seasons. Like he started out being like a little below average I think as a guard and now just every year I feel like he's just gotten slightly better and has uh become pretty dang good <laughs> at what he does you know uh really enjoy him as a run blocker and he's probably one of the most fun offensive linemen i've gotten to watch just with how dominant and forceful he can be uh destroying defenders everything just looked really easy for hunt in this game just in pass pro just winning so instantly right away you can just see he was just a step above a lot of these people like he was going against like a mix of texans first string second string you know it is a preseason game so it's nothing too crazy but you did see the domination also love this he's clearly communicating pre-snap with his offensive lineman being a leader out there and you can just he's got big hands nice length eyes are peeking to the inside just in case the linebackers who are mugging the a gap are going to blitz they don't he gets back he's not even worried about the defensive lineman doesn't have eyes on him and this guy gets lower than him and he just instantly stonewalls him like right there, boom, lower, they meet, he gets good hand placement, and just Stonewall's power only takes like a literally like half an inch step back and absolutely takes him out of the play. Uh, ball comes out quickly anyways, but love the start of this play. Good technique, staying square, and just the powerful hands and just powerful nature of his play. Uh, really impressed by Robert Hunt every time I turn on his film, and just very, very exciting player to watch uh, grow as the seasons have gone on. A lot of these plays are start gonna, just going to start to be back to back to back to back. He just started dominating um, some in pass pro, some run blocking here off the line. Guys playing as a 2-I. He just climbs over here. Dolphins up front running some split zone action. He's able to cut off 91 instantly. Um, even though Jackson tries to get this nice little combo, he pushes him too. And Hunt's still able to get across the face there. So J Jackson kind of pushed him where... It, 91 actually wants to go. Hunt still able to cut him off, get square, reset those hands, and is able to hold on to it long enough um, for Mostert to hit this gap. All you need to do sometimes. Love the ability. Like he's even losing his balance a little bit, but still able to hold on to it long enough, sustain and strain that block that the defensive lineman never had a chance and the Mostert burst through the hole. When Hunt's able to just combine his hands with the torque in his hips, you can just see the absolute power. He moves people. Like, defensive linemen, these are big guys. It is not easy to move these guys, especially, like, there's no momentum up front. All he does, barely even, you know, just uses his one arm and some hip torque, and he completely wipes him out of the play. Like, Jack's supposed to come down and down block with Hunt, but he's so powerful. Instantly with one hand, he throws this guy out the club before Jackson really even gets there. That's super impressive play strength. Like, absolutely ridiculous stuff. Getting engaged, right arm placement, understands how to use it uh, where it wants to be, and then use the torque combined with his upper half and the hips to create all this space for the running back to hit up the middle. Ends up not getting far, but Hunt does his job to perfection. Hunt was very aggressive in his pass sets. He clearly was not worried about um, this defensive front at all. Um, very confident. Love this. Now, you know, some guys, you 45 degrees set, vertical set, jump set, and he was just getting out there, jump setting on people. Um, square, under control, nice base, nice bend to his knee. Not super overextended here. He gets overextended on his punch a little bit, but with how strong his hands are and showing good balance, he's able to just instantly get back into his position. Guys tries to swipe at him. He only has one hand on here, and his left hand's like on the left shoulder of the D lineman, so he should have this lane to shoot through here, and he instantly is still just able to hold on to it, get his feet across, stay square. Defensive lineman never had a chance. He just won that rep right away, right off, right off the line of scrimmage. Last play, there one break down here for Robert Hunt. He just absolutely takes this guy out of his the play here you can see the power that he creates 
Uh, we'll watch this one more time from this angle, but more just split zone. He's able to just cut him off. Uh, he gets gets his helmet knocked off too, but like just getting engaged with that left hand. Tries to torque, and this guy kind of wins the inside of the gap initially, but he's so powerful. Still able to cut him off and still create that pushback. I don't even know how this makes sense from a physics perspective. Like, look at his positioning right here. Like, usually when you're in this positioning and you have your right tackle also trying to, you know, come down and possibly create a tiny little bit of a push too before he climbs. Um, this guy should be getting pushed down at like a 45 degree angle this way. But he somehow is able to push him back, back completely. Stand him straight up here and then drive him straight the other way and then get his hips across. That is an insane rep from Robert Hunt. Now, these are like some second teamers, but still NFL level D tackles and he making them look silly. Now he goes against first stringers. Obviously, it's a little bit of a different story, but he still was so dominant here. You can tell he's still going to be like a solid, really good guard. And he proved it last season with, I think, his best year yet for the Dolphins. And they definitely needed that because they've kind of only ever, like with Armstead, you, and they got Connor Williams. You weren't quite sure if Robert Hunt was going to take that next step. And then getting Connor Williams, you weren't sure, like him going to center, how that was going to play out. And they kind of became like a very dominant duo up the middle, run blocking, creating lanes. And it was just added to the team to have at least three defensive off or three decent offensive linemen. And now they definitely have three pretty good ones. Uh, Armstead is elite when he plays. And then those other two spots, really up for grabs. But I think. They are going to look better this year, no matter what, at the other two spots. Like, can't really get much worse either. And I think they have more bodies there, and they have even the guys that played at those positions last year look better going into this preseason. So, we'll see how it all plays out. Robert Hunt looking dominant, as always. So, if you guys like the video, make sure that comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.